is Prince Charles's health and age and Camilla is just too much to get over and uh, will he abdicate? That's what the video video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It makes an awful lot of difference. And thank you very much, either way, for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Yeah, I've been asked the question, and so here it is in the cards. And, um, you know, he is advanced in his age. Uh, he's not in the condition that his mother uh, is in. And uh, Camilla uh, is a, uh, in a young spring chicken either. So is abdication in the cards for Charles? Well, let's see. Okay, so the question is, uh, will Prince Charles abdicate uh, due to the health of both him and Camilla and maybe COVID's been tough on Camilla. We'll see. So, or maybe we won't see. We'll just see what the cards say. I can't really determine what they, how they're going to come out. I've got this little sheet here that helps me remember how to uh, divine these cards. And I'll put that off to the side so I can refer to it if I need to. But the question is then, will Charles, Charles abdicate um, because of his age and poor health? Will Charles abdicate due to his age and poor health. You have to wonder if he's not seeing um, the will of his mother to hang on as and him probably being ready to take over. I won't say wanting to take over, but being ready to take over. You have to, how can he not compare that to what his future is going to be when he is in the condition of his mother and William is in the wings and what is the best thing for the country? What's the best thing for you and your ego? What's the best thing for the country? So, Prince Charles, will he abdicate due to his health and age and uh, and that of Camilla as well? Will Prince Charles eventually abdicate uh, to let uh, the next one come along? We'll see about that. Okay, and <clears throat> get right into it. Signifier card, but let's get six cards to get this divination going. Let's stack them here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will Charles advocate due to poor health or age? First card, right out of the, the bat. <clears throat> Is this number three of the Major Arcana? And this is the Empress. So the Empress comes to us a fruitful and a knowledgeable and compassionate. And that's the signifier of the whole thing. <clears throat> the challenge to that. It's this magician having all the tools that you need to make a thing come to pass. So this compassionate empress, um, so the compassion of the situation, uh, is challenged by having all the tools that you need to make a thing come to pass. So, so it reminds me much uh, of what we're going through now, where the queen has a, uh, you know that question to make, does she abdicate? But she has all the tools she needs to keep going. The base of this reading, then, with this uh, king of pentacles, or is this a knight of pentacles? This is a knight of pentacles. This is a knight or a king? I will say this is the king of pentacles. Okay, so the king of pentacles really in charge of your value. A great big offer of worth, and that's where Charles would see himself as the king of pentacles. The past of that reading then is this uh, female knight of swords. Is uh, where, yeah, he, uh, and I say a female knight of swords because that's the lesser, more compassionate a warrior fighting for the truth, justice, rules, of law represented in these swords. So that's where he had been at the time that this question might come up. Uh, that's who he had been, this uh, more compassionate knight of swords. In the sky of this reading, then, with this four of pentacles.
And the Four of Pentacles is really telling us, let me make sure that I get this correct here. The Four of Pentacles is, is really wanting to hold on to the value that you have, okay? So that's in the sky. So I would say he wants to hold on to that value for all that it's worth. And that's in the sky this reading, okay? The likely outcome in the first part of this as to whether he will abdicate uh, due to age or poor health. And so far, it's looking like he would fight to stay uh, going, to keep going, are these uh, wands, one, two, three, four, five, six of wands. And this is victory. Six of wands are victory. So it looks like maybe he wouldn't. Let's see what four more cards uh, might tell us, though. I'm going to pull them all at once since these are so bulky and it's easier to get them out of the way. Okay. Okay. So the very self of that question as to whether he would abdicate uh, because of old age or poor health. And this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of cups. And the Eight of Cups is having to turn away from something of really emotional importance to you. That's interesting. Well, that's the question. Will he abdicate? They'll be turning away from something that really means a lot to you. And then the uh, environment that that would be in is this female page of swords. Okay, so this is a weak um, page. So this was a female knight of swords, which is a, a weak fighter or a more compassionate fighter. This is a female page of swords, which is a weak message of the value, the truth, justice, rules, and law. So this uh, one hand turn away from something of major importance to you is in the environment of being a weak, uh, a weak uh, page of swords. Interesting. The hopes and the fears of that uh, is represented right here in this ace of of uh, swords. Okay, so this Ace of Swords is a great big value of truth, justice, rules, and law. And that's how he would see himself as this huge Ace, but in, in fact, he's a weak page. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing as to whether he would have to abdicate is this 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 of Pentacles. And what is the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles is happy family. So at the end here, we brought family, all the family into this. And so, um, I think this is saying to me is that uh, he'll put up a fight, okay? He'll hold on and feel like he's, in the end, got what it takes to make it through. But his ace in the hole, so to speak, his uh, ending value in that regard is this uh, Ten of Pentacles. And that's uh, the familial uh, value of the monarchy that he brings with it. So I would say that would, would he abdicate? It'd be a hard, uh, he will hang on. He will hang on. And in the end, uh, if he uh, he's still thinking of himself as a great big ace of swords, uh, but knowing that he has this uh, ten of pentacles to fall back on. So I think it's just not an answerable question. We won't know until that time comes. Again, there we go. That's what we get. So tell me what you think. Um, how did you like that draw? If you have some suggestions, let me know what they'd be. And uh, I'll consider everything. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So this is the Carry Vale Visconti 15th Century Tarachi deck. And they're beautiful cards. They're big cards. The uh, container they come in is really um, amazing. And there's a nice little rundown on what the cards are about here because they are, in fact, uh, kind of special. Now, uh, like I said, this is sturdy. The guidebook inside is really good. I mean, it gives you some very good um, uh, history and then, of course, uh, ideas for divination of the cards. And uh, it is in full color also. Uh, and this is by uh, Theory de Paulus and Stuart R. Kaplan, who is uh, from of tarot fame, Stuart R. Kaplan. Now, so good book. The box, like I said, is great. Cards are big. And the deal with the cards is this. There's extra cards in this deck. You can see that the back of them is pretty distinct, and I like noticing the back because from this you can tell whether your cards are going to be upright or inverted. Okay, so right now you can see that with this, these two blotches down at the bottom of the, of the, of the card, that you know this is going to be upright. And of course, if those two blotches were at the top of the card, then you'd know, well, that's the hangman, so that's not a good uh, example because he looks uh, wrong. Then you'll know that it's inverted. So, Blotches at the top, uh, inverted, blotches at the bottom, the way they should be. Now, 
the extra cards because there are 86 cards here. And uh, this is from the 15th century. It's also known as the, the Visconti di Madroni uh, tarot. So let me count these off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's why I, I put these cards out ahead of time. The extra cards are these. Um, in the Major Arcana, or the uh, uh, Trump cards, the number two of the uh, Trump uh, deck is usually the Pope S or the High Priestess. But in this deck, it's called Charity. And this is how it looks like. So this is Charity. So it's the number two of the Major Arcana. It's usually the Pope or the High Priestess, or the Pope S, rather, or the High Priestess. And in this one, it's called Charity. Now, the number five in this deck, which is typically, in other decks, the Pope or the Hierophant. Now, in this deck, it's Faith. Okay, and so this is Faith, the number five card. And then the number 17 card, which in other tarot decks is the star card. In this deck, it's Hope. Okay, so you can tell it's a star a little bit. If you kind of remember to look up here when you come across this card, and it's Hope. Then, in the major or rather in the uh, pip cards or the, the suit cards, there's, uh, of course, you have swords, wands, pentacles, and cups. But in this deck, there are, and you know, you have knights and you have pages. But in this deck, you have male and female knights and male and female pages. So in this uh, deck of swords, you have the male of knights and the male, uh, the female of knights. And then you have the uh, male of pages and then the female of pages. Okay, so those are some of the differences in this deck. And so you've got 86 cards to deal with instead of the regular um, the cards that you would otherwise have. Now, to look at them, they're amazing. I've got my cheat sheet up here to tell me what I'm supposed to say about these cards. Um, these, as you can see, they're huge. And some of them are, you know, not so intuitive. You can tell from looking at them what they are, but others of them, are not very intuitive, and so you really kind of need to know your uh, your system before you start using the cards. And I like to lay them out like this, just so that you get a good idea of what the different cards look like. These cards are actually, let's see, I'm going to tell you what we've got here. They're part of a collection at Yale University at Connecticut's uh, Manuscript uh, Library, and these were painted for the Duke uh, Filippo Visconti before 1447. And so that's all the pertinent information. Interesting cards, kind of big. They can be cumbersome to use, but it's something different. And I, this is kind of the last uh, purchase I've made uh, for cards. And because um, I didn't know, I just like to keep uh, some unusual cards in my scheme of things. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.